What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys. As always, I'm so happy to be back. My vacation was awesome, but yeah, I'm just happy to be back. I drove for eight hours today. It was really, really long. Um, but as you can see from the title of the video, guys, we are back with another episode of Clashing Culture. And today we're going to do a very, very popular musician. Um, every, every single one of you is going to know who he is. Um, his name is Justin Bieber, <laughs> but what we're going to be doing to him, as you can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and just drag this on, we are going to be turning him into a barbarian. That's right, guys. This is going to be awesome. Uh, I'm excited about this. So why don't we just go ahead and jump into this. I think uh, I'm going to use the, the yelling barbarian right here because uh, I think it'll be awesome to use him with the, uh, let me go ahead and just crop this real quick. Um, I think it'll be awesome to use him with the microphone that, that Justin has going on. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, all right? And, cause as you can see with the microphone, uh, it looks like this barbarian could be singing, so we're gonna try and do that. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and just flip this horizontal so that he's now facing this way, and I guess we'll have to turn him something like this, um, and then make him bigger, probably around to there. Um, I've been talking with Supercell, trying to get some higher res uh, images so that Clashing Culture can be even better. Uh, so I am in the works of that, guys. So definitely be looking forward to some even higher quality uh, even higher quality pictures I'm definitely excited about it let's go ahead and um, I'm just gonna get rid of most of his body and then I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm just gonna use the brush right now because I don't want to uh, I don't want to take too much time but guys how was y'all's Christmas mine was awesome uh, I went to Cincinnati Ohio it was a lot of fun. Um, I got to see my wife's family. They're awesome. And I also got to uh, see some of her friends. We went ice skating uh, in the middle of downtown Cincinnati, which was really cool. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but probably the biggest thing that happened over the break was me hitting 20,000 subscribers. 20,000 of you guys. Guys, that's like an entire college. That's just, that's so ridiculous to me. Thank you so much for that. Um, we are going to be announcing a giveaway soon. Uh, me, BJ, and actually Noteworthy Games are going to be doing a giveaway soon. So I hope that y'all are looking forward to that. We'll be announcing that in, uh, in probably uh, a day or two with all the details. So y'all can definitely be, as I've been saying 15 times already, looking forward to that. Um, but that was probably the biggest part of my break was hitting 20,000 subs. And right now, guys, I'm already over 21,000. You guys, you guys are making a dream come true for me. And I really do mean that. Um, but when it comes to clashing culture, guys, why don't you all, uh, keep on coming up with awesome ideas. I wasn't able to record that much while I was up in Ohio because, um, my good computer, my desktop that I just recently got, uh, is at my house which I'm on right now, obviously, uh, which is why I'm able to do the face cam and everything. Um, but otherwise, I wasn't able to before. All right, so here's his face. <laughs> I can already tell this is going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is going to be great. But first, why don't we go ahead and let's copy this microphone because we want that to be on top. So we're going to do a layer via copy with that. We're going to put that on top. And um, let's go ahead and oops, let's go ahead and erase everything around that as well. Um, I'm using a uh, a layer mask right now and just drawing on it. Uh, guys, let me know if y'all want me to post these on my design channel and go into a little bit more detail. I know that everybody likes seeing the finished product of this, but some of you guys who actually do Photoshop yourself. Um, might want to know how I'm doing stuff. So um, I wouldn't post it on both channels. So depending on what the vote is, uh, just let me know. I guess I could post it on both channels. I don't know. Um, but just let me know if you guys would rather me post this on Design with Molt. Uh, if you guys don't know about that channel, it's in my sub box on the top right of the page. Um, 
But let me know if y'all would rather me do it there because then that way uh, we could I could go into more detail and and kind of explain what I'm doing more so than what I am right now. Um, I missed a couple spots. There we go. And we are going to put that right over that. Good. <laughs> That's funny. Um, all right, so we're going to leave that there. And then let's move the barbarian down to probably around here. And then I'm going to have to get rid of Justin's hair. So why don't we go into uh, our liquify tool under filter again. Um, you can kind of see it right here. Sorry that it's off the screen for a little bit. But I don't want to mess up. I want the background to kind of try and say consistent behind Justin. So I'm just going to pull this down. That way it still looks like... <laughs> There, we're done. <laughs> uh, that way it still looks good. So there you can see behind him, it looks perfectly fine. Um, that's why I use that. But he does have a little bit of hair right here on the side. So we're actually going to go and liquefy that one more time. And we're just going to pull this over right there. Now we're done. And since the background's already blurred out, it doesn't look that bad at all. Um, so we're already looking pretty good with this. Um, let's see, what are we going to do about... Um, <laughs> All right, I think that his head needs to be a little bit smaller uh, to be a little bit more proportioned with his body. And yeah, so somewhere around there. No, it needs to be bigger. Let's just leave it big. That makes it funny. Um, yep, yeah, so. <clears throat> we're going to keep it like that, and then what we're going to need to do to this guy is we're going to need to, um, we are going to need to dodge him, not burn him. We're going to dodge him. Yeah, there we go. We're going to make his skin a little bit lighter all the way around. Um, this isn't going to blend too well with his neck on this one. Um, let's see what we can do. Let's see what the barbarian's neck, neck looked like before, uh, Nope, this. What it is? Did he not even have a neck? That just looks weird. Something's wrong with that. Okay, whatever. Um, we're gonna go through and uh, tighten this up. Let's make his, oh gosh, what am I doing? I need to go back to where I was. All right, so that's where we were. It doesn't look good when I when I burn when I burn him. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually make uh, Justin's neck a little bit darker with the burn tool. Yeah, and then we are going to have to do a hue saturation layer over that, and let's saturate his neck just a little. Do we want to lighten it or darken it? This is going to be really, really hard to match. Let's just colorize it. Colorize it, put it there, saturate it, and let's find, let's try and find the match of that color. That's going to be really hard to do. Uh, that's pretty close. All right, and then what we are going to do is, um, oh, let's select the opposite, fill it with black, there we go, and then now we're just going to come over here and brush the rest of this away, yep, so that doesn't look too bad, and then, gosh, there we go, now let's go through some blending modes real quick and see if any of those make it look any better, that one doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I like that one. Um, let's see if we can brush this on his arm as well. Just so that his arm matches that skin color. Yeah. Then we are going to get rid of everything that you see on the outside that we messed up with. There we go. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Again, I do wish that we had a higher res picture of um, of the barbarian's head, but we do not. Uh, hopefully, I can get those soon so that we can actually make some really, really good uh, wallpapers and 
and whatnot for you guys. I think those will be hilarious. Um, let's see if... Yeah, let's tilt him a little bit more like that. All right, now what we need to do real quick is make a new layer and add some shadows down here where his chin would be. Oh, yep. Yeah. So we're going to add shadows where his chin would be. There we go. And put those at about 75% uh, or so. Yep, that looks good. And then also, let's underneath the microphone, we're going to need to put. Oh, uh, no. Let's. We're going to duplicate the microphone. And we are going to take it and we are going to bring it down to about here and we're going to fill it with black just like that and we're going to put that to about 50 percent and then we're going to blur that dodge and blur a little bit more there we go and then let's erase the outer part of it right here uh, give me a sec I'll be right back I'm back as you can see right now there is a goblin in here um, we're going to just very quickly it doesn't have to be that precise um, we're going to delete the background behind him we're going to bring him down about here and then as you can see the whole background is really really blurred so we're going to blur um, gosh and blur him and we're going to blur him a lot so that he matches the background <laughs> as you can see uh, probably around there and then we're going to need to put a blue uh, tint over him because as you can see the background is kind of blue so we're going to colorize him and add this blue color uh, lighten it up Let's try and match that blue. That's not that bad. And let's go through some blending modes. Uh, there we go. And let's put that to about 50%. Yeah, so he looks like he's supposed to be in the background now. Let's. I'm going to blur him again. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, so now there's a goblin in the background, which is hilarious. Uh, let's take our original Clash of Clans picture. This is going to be the last thing that we are going to do. Um, and let's... Uh, command delete there we go we're going to make this a little bit bigger and you guys are going to see what I'm going to do I'm going to grab this guy's sword from him real quick so I'm going to grab his sword and everything else we're going to fill with black there we go and I gotta get rid of all this other stuff all right, so flip that, Alt Delete. We're gonna fill that with black, and then now we are going to take that layer, and we are going to give Justin a sword as well. Why is this over here? <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna take this. We're gonna give Justin a sword for his hand that's up in the air. Obviously, we're only gonna get the bottom of it. Um, so we're just going to use our pen tool right here and snag this. And we don't even need all of it because it's going to go off the screen. Um, make selection. Alright, and let's see if we can fit this so that it looks good in his hand. Um, Uh, that almost looks like he could be holding it, but I'm going to have to... Uh, let's do that. And we're going to need to put it so that his fingers are on top of it. So let's add a mask to it real quick, and then we are just going to brush away where his fingers are. Yep. And then bring the rest of this back right here. I'm just going to get rid of some of his hand. <laughs> that doesn't really look that good. All right, you know what? We're not doing the sword. I'm sorry. I know. It would have been cool. But I have to go download a better sword. But I think this looks hilarious. Awesome. All right, guys. So there's Justin Bieber 
as or there is a barbarian as Justin Bieber. Um, guys, once I start getting better quality pictures from Clash of Clans, I'll be able to make big backgrounds for your computers and things like that. But here's another episode of Clash and Culture for you guys. I hope that you all enjoyed Justin Bieber as a barbarian. I guess he is now Justin Barbarian um, with a little goblin in the background hanging out, stealing some gold from those dancers. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Um, I really do appreciate the support. You guys rock. Uh, the the uh, Valkyrie Wrecking Ball video is has blown up. Um, unbelievable. It's over 50,000 views in two weeks. That's the most views I've gotten in that period of time on that video. So I'm super excited about that. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, yeah, and as always, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.